Hi Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your July 21st to the 31st, 2019. That's 2019 reading for you today. Now I ask that you give this reading a thumbs up. Also make sure that you subscribe to my channel. This is the way you let YouTube know that you're appreciating the content that I'm putting up. And I'd like to start each reading with an attitude of gratitude. So I want to thank you so very much for stopping by and tuning in. Whether you are new or old to this channel, I absolutely adore having you here. If you would like to book a private reading with me or donate to my channel, all that information will be in the description box below. I will also have the links to the cards that I use there. And the Fairy Guidance and the Witchling cards are by Paulina Cassidy. And those are linked in the description box below, but they send you to her Etsy site. So that's where those are. So let's see now, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, what July 21st to the 31st, 2019 has in store for you. Scorpio, July 21st to the 31st, 2019, Scorpio. 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 July 21st, oh goodness, to the 31st, 2019, Scorpio. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Okay, fantastic. That's where the cards fell, so that's where Spirit wants me to stop. At the center of everything, Scorpio, is the Tower card, okay? And that's the one that jumped out while I was shuffling the cards. So this here is saying that there's a big change coming your way. The tower doesn't have to be bad, so I don't want you to sit there and see the tower and get all afraid and be like, oh no, this is going to be an absolutely horrible 11 days. No, it's going to be an 11 days of change, though. It is going to be an 11 days where it might feel chaotic at times. Now, this is also a karmic deck coming into play, knowing where it is that you stand, what it is that you want. Things are going to be coming up, and it can be that they're not even big things within your life, but they have a huge impact on your soul and yourself. You can find that you react very strongly to something during this time, and it can be because it's the straw that broke the camel's back. It can also be because you are just, yeah, you're karmically linked to it, and you're just having this reaction not only from this life, but from past lives leading you forward. There's a there's a mixing up of emotions. There's a sense of a, a chaos within you, but it's a chaos that's bringing you to the change that you want and you need within your life. So this is actually, I see the tower as actually being a very good card to see, to see because it's kind of like when that mama bird kicks the baby bird out of the nest. You have to fly. And that's what this is doing. Spirit is making you fly because it's changing things up to a point where you're sitting there and saying, okay, you know what? I have to go after what it is that I want and what it is that I need. In the Rider Waite Smith deck, this is depicted by two people falling from a tower. We have fire burning in the background. That represents the yet, that represents divinity. And then the people falling is kind of being shaken from a consciousness or yeah, from a consciousness that wasn't right for you. It's like when you're walking a path, but it's not your path or a truth that isn't your truth. And divinity sits there and says, oh no, oh no. And it's a little tap on the shoulder. It's a little whisper in the ear. And then this is kind of like the boot in the turquoise to get you to move to where it is that you need to be. You're, you're completely changing things up. You're crowned by the eight of swords. You're afraid. And that's what's kind of been keeping you stagnant. But there is a sense of this fear. It's holding you back. Right? It's, keeping you, it's keeping you tied to where it is that you were. And you're afraid because you're wondering, Scorpio, if I, if I move, if I move forward, if I make this decision, will I ruin everything? Will everything fall down around me? You know, doubts and fears and apprehensions are coming up. Questions are coming. There's a sense of not knowing where it is that you stand and what it is that you want. And emotions are running really high. There's heightened sensitivity. There's a sense of chaos within your soul, within yourself. And so here you're needing to calm and center you as you move forward to where it is that you need to be, to where it is that you want to be. You have to turn inward, Scorpio, and know that your mind is making things bigger than they are. So when you turn inward and you're looking at things, hey, that's odd. Spirit is saying you need to turn inward to calm yourself, to calm yourself and kind of embrace these emotions. Okay, that makes sense. To, to embrace these emotions. And then you need to look externally, look outward, and see the truth of the matter because your mind is going to make it bigger than it is. 
And that's going to be a time, there's going to be a time during these 11 days where your mind is really making things bigger than they are. And you just need to center yourself. You need to understand yourself to move forward to where it is that you truly need to be, to where it is that you truly want to be. But there's something in these 11 days that is going to keep you stuck, that is going to keep you stagnant. And it's going to make you really doubt where it is that you stand and what it is that you want. Then we have the Ace of Cups. I love it. God, Source, Spirit, however you see the divine in the universe, is handing you a gift of healing, beautiful love. And you're taking it. You really, suit, you really truly are. Now, I have to see you take it within this reading, but I know that you are taking it. Now, maybe not within these 11 days. Maybe you're working up towards it. But this is a gift because you are a water sign. This is a gift just for you that, you, that is enlightening and embracing your soul. There's a sense of things being turned up. So this gift comes and you might really feel like it's like the tower. Everything gets turned up. Everything gets chaotic. Everything is questioning because it's turning up the waters. It turns it from this chaotic sea to this calm crystalline lake. If you see that right here. Okay. And it can bring tears. It very much can bring. It can bring a sense of tears, a sense of sen heightened sensitivity, a sense of not sure how you move forward and where the freedom will come. Then we have the Seven of Swords. This is moving forward. Okay? This is a sense of at times you're going to be so confident within yourself. You're going to absolutely know where you're heading, Scorpio. And then at other times you're going to want to hide away. Here, you have that confidence. Here, you have that hiding away. You have the angels blessing you. You have the angels getting you. So you need to know that within your soul and self, you're on the right track. You really are. There is a sense here of you heading towards Avalon, heading towards a mystery, heading towards a divine secret for you. Right? And as you head towards that truth, as you embrace that mystery, you are going to be learning more and more about yourself. And you have to be kind to yourself when you have those moments where you want to hide away. Right? Because there is a sense here that I'm seeing is that when you have those moments of fear, you're going to berate yourself so hard, Scorpio. You're going to be like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that you are so stupid. I can't believe that you just didn't, you know, kind of man up and do it. No, don't do that to yourself. Because that little nasty voice is going to make you feel even worse about yourself. And even when you stand tall, you're not going to stand as tall as if you were filled with love for yourself. Men at your root, I love it. The Ten of Pentacles. This is a completion of a cycle. This is prosperity as you see it, as you want it within your life. Now, is it going to come exactly the way you want it? No. It's going to come divinely. And I laugh a little bit because, you know, we as human beings, we see gifts come our way and we don't notice them because we're so busy focusing on the other thing, on the way that we want our lives. So here you have a sense of community coming around you. Even if it's just a community online, you know, you have a sense of prosperity leading you forward. You have a sense of knowing when to share and then when to hold back. And you have this beauty guiding you to where it is that your soul needs to be, to what it is that your heart needs to what your heart desires. Then we have the sun card. Oh, I love it. You have this gift of prosperity, of what's truly valuable to you coming in. And then you have the sun, the happiest card in the whole entire deck. And the sun is a counterweight to the tower. So after you have this tower time, you have beauty, prosperity, and abundance coming in. You have love guiding you forward. There's also beauty within solitude. You're going to find that you really like being within your own counsel and your own thoughts during these 11 days, Scorpio. It's going to be a very good place for you. And then we have the Justice card. This is a Libra energy, right? This is a time frame of September 23rd to October 22nd. But this is Justice coming in. This is you knowing your mind. This is you claiming your power. This is you knowing your truth. And nothing and no one is going to stop you. You are very much embracing a sense of balance here. Then we have you, the essence of you, coming through within your clarifying cards. Fire sign energy, passion leading you forward. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. King of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And even though I don't have you taking the gift yet, we can see what your subconscious message is. At the end, this gift is permeating the whole entire thing. This gift of healing beautiful love is why you're moving forward, why you are having this sense. Because in this triangle right here, Tower, Ace of Cups, Eight of Swords, this is a tower of doubt and chaos. 
right? This is a triangle. No, this is a tower. Yeah, this tower, doubt, chaos coming in, but it's the chaos that changes. This is you being afraid and saying, oh my gosh, can I do this? This is your base right here, the base of the triangle. The top of the triangle is this healing, beautiful love that's going to wash this doubt and fear away. It, not away, but it's going to lessen it. It's going to bring you your justice, which is cutting through doubts and fears. It's embracing this healing that's moving you forward. It's embracing the essence of yourself, which is leading you to this prosperity, which is leading you to this bounty. And it has here, with the Page of Wands, this fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, it has here passions moving you forward, but this is also career-wise, passionately, creatively, you're going to have more insights. Again, there is a sense of you at times with the rabbit here being frozen. Oh, goodness. You being frozen. So you're going to be moving forward, heading towards what you want. And then at times you're just going to think, oh no, I can't do this. You have to be kind to yourself during those times. You have to be able to sit there and say, it's okay. Because it really is okay, Scorpio. It really is okay to feel afraid. It really is okay to be overwhelmed. You're being a student of your passion, of where it is that you want to be, of how it is that you want to move forward, right? You can also be having a fire sign energy, an Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius, a either young fire sign energy or an immature fire sign energy causing this chaos within your life, all right? So be mindful of fire sign energies during this time, but also know there is a passion that leads you forward. There's a passion that ignites your soul, that helps you embrace where it is that you want to be and what it is that your, your heart desires. Right? You're going to be learning. You're going to be getting gifts from the universe. And this is insight. This is messages. They're going to be gifts that are tangible. That's something you can hold, something that you can see here on this earthly plane. It's going to be more than just a feeling, more than just a sense. But this kick is also going to be the kick that you needed to move you forward in your passion and in your creativity. You're embracing what it is that you love. You're embracing your happiness and you're moving forward. There's doubts and fears here. So even though there's happiness, there's a sense of still having a lot to work through emotionally, internally, mentally, to be able to be at the place that you want to be. Do you get there? Yes, you do. But you have to walk through the doubt, the fear, and the chaos first because then you have the success of prosperity coming in this being a student of your prosperity, this being a student of what it is that you want, and then you have the success of being a king, of being the actor upon the stage, being seen for your mind, for your smarts, for the way that your soul is moving you forward. You're guarding the seat of your soul right here. In Celtic mythology, well, not in Celtic mythology, in Celtic history, it is a fact that the seat of the soul was held behind the eyes. That's why if you see Celtic art, the eyes are always bigger because they're enhancing the most important feature and that's the eyes. So here, there's chain mail over your head. You're guarding the seat of your soul. You're guarding what it is that you desire most and what it is that's most important to you, your greatest gift of soul and self. Now you might sit there and say, David, I don't know my greatest gift of soul and self. Everybody does. Everybody does. You have this prosperity here. You have this way of connecting with community. Everybody does know their gift, but sometimes it's not grand. A lot of times it's not grand. Having a love of stories and mythologies, that can be a gift. You know, being a fantastic baker, that's a gift. Being a fantastic parent, that's most definitely a gift. You know, having an eye for detail, that's a gift. Seeing and taking that gift, identifying it, and then seeing how it works for you and how to make it work in this modern world, now, that can take imagination, that can take understanding, that can take, you know, thinking outside of the box. But Scorpio, you're absolutely up for that. You are the out-of-the-box type of person. Your truth, your prosperity leads you forward. You have the Morgan here guiding you. Now, the Morgan is the goddess of battle. All right? Now, you have been through battles, and that's how you have obtained the seed of your soul. That's how you have obtained your truth. That's how you claim your truth and you know your power. There's thought and memory guiding you forward, Hunan and Munin, within North mythology. You are guided. You are embracing what it is that you want and you're embracing where it is that you need to be. Don't rely too much on memory because that'll weigh you down. Rely more on thought because you're having justice of thought come in right here, very much so, as you move forward. 
Now here, crowning you, this is doubts, this is fear, this is feeling trapped. But then you have the Scorpio. You have the essence of you shining through. You overcome your doubts and fears. You see with more than just your eyes. You see with your heart. You see with your soul. You let spirit guide you. And you move forward to the truth of where it is that you need to be. To the truth of what it is that you desire. And nothing and no one is going to stand in your way. You're also closing the door on something that has kept you terrified. That has kept you small. That has kept you from moving forward the way that you need to. The way that you want to. And now this is you claiming your power. This is you knowing your truth. And this is nothing and no one standing in your way. Here you have you embracing this gift of healing and prosperity. It changes everything. It stirs up emotions. It cleanses you. It kicks you out of your comfort zone. And it takes you to a place of beauty, of joy, of happiness, of abundance. This place of abundance moves you forward to the place that you want to be. Here you have justice coming in. Okay, this justice, again, takes you out of your comfort zone. This Leo could also, not Leo, Libra, takes you out of a comfort zone, can be taking you out of a comfort zone. That energy. And then you have this chaos come in. Now, for some of you, you want to be aware of Libras because they might not be the best people to have around right now, all right, with this triangle here of the Tower, the Eight of Swords, and the justice card but they're not bad this is a change that you need so this could be as I always say that 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 moment that makes you into a pearl you know and you know how pearls are made they have an oyster has a bit of sand caught under its tongue right caught within itself and it's irritating the life out of that poor oyster so the oyster coats it with mucus and coats it with mucus and coats it with mucus till that piece of sand which is worthless I mean there's so much sand within the sea on the beach but that piece of sand, now that it's coated with mucus, so many times becomes a pearl. And that becomes priceless. The Libra here can be making you priceless, even though you don't want it. Okay? It brings chaos. It brings a change. This isn't just, this is chaos, yes, but it's a chaos that brings a change, that moves you forward to a place of, of endless hope, of prosperity, of mystery. And you know your mind. You know where it is that you want to be. There's something about claiming the sword of cutting through doubts and fears and claiming your truth that is going to be so, so, so importful, importful, important and impactful on you, Scorpio. This is where I'm going. Your fairy guidance. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Scorpio, July 21st to the 31st, 2019. Scorpio, July 21st, this one right here. Enlightenment. Oh, I love it. July 21st to the 31st, 2019. And karma. Okay. That makes perfect sense with the tower. Karmic debt coming into play. It's going to bring you enlightenment, though. It really is. Show me clearly. Show me clearly. Show me clearly. Scorpio, July 21st to the 31st, 2019. Scorpio, July 21st to the 31st, 2019. Rejuvenation and empowerment. So the first thing here we have is rejuvenation. And this says, rejuvenating your mind, body, and spirit with a fresh and renewed approach to life will set you free, will move you forward. Okay? So rejuvenate your mind, body, and spirit with a fresh and renewed approach to life. The color that shines through here is green. That's healing and cleansing your heart chakra. It's going to be highly beneficial for you, especially through all the weight that's being put on it here with the tower, with the eight of swords, with the chaos that's coming in. And with the sense that you are claiming your truth from this chaos. Then we have empowerment. You are empowered. I mean, look at this. this uh, the star card. Not the star. The sun card. The ten of pentacles. You're claiming your truth. You're claiming your prosperity. And we have empowerment. And this says, the determination of your mind and soul will guide you towards unleashing your inner power. You are determined to move forward. Your mind and soul are determined to guide you to the place that your heart needs to be. The color that shines through here is blue. That's healing and cleansing your throat chakra. And then we have enlightenment. Enlightenment will unearth your higher consciousness. You are being enlightened. There's justice. There's 
the sense that you are truly embracing here the seed of your soul where it is that you want to be where it is that you need to be body mind and spirit brings you a sense of enlightenment brings you a sense of understanding and then we have karma karma is a universal teacher sending forth lessons from past and present karma is teaching you karmic lessons are coming your way and you're embracing them to move forward from the past into the present of where it is that your soul needs to be where it is that your heart needs to be and what it is that you truly desire your subconscious message here the ten of wands you have a repeat of the number ten okay you are completing a cycle and this in this cycle the cycle that is completing has to do with this earthly plane and the way that you're moving forward here you're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders but you're letting it go you are embracing your mind and your understanding most definitely so and you are learning right now Scorpio that the weight of what it is that you want from your life the weight of what it is that you're trying to learn from this incarnation from this existence is enough you want to help everybody else you want to pull them out of the darkness but people will pull you down if you let them and I'm not saying not to help people but I'm saying that you have to take care of yourself and I know this is an astoundingly hard lesson for me and so I can only imagine that it is a astoundingly hard lesson for so many people but be focused on you be focused on the way that you're moving forward the truth that you are letting into your life the light that you are letting into your soul because here you're carrying your hopes and your dreams and if you spend all your time pulling people out of the gutter pulling people up taking on their loads helping them out taking away their karmic lesson from them and adding to your own so that maybe even you miss your karmic lesson because you're so busy with everybody else okay you're doing nobody any favors even though you're trying to be so altruistic and kind all right Scorpio I hope this reading has resonated with you it is always a pleasure reading for you thank you so much for sharing your time with me sharing this time with me I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. Thank you for giving this reading a thumbs up, and thank you for subscribing to my channel. I'll be reading for you all really, really soon. Bye.